Now we are going to make this part up here, okay? And for that, I printed two papers, okay? These are cardstock, and I printed um, two of these. And I would cut these papers at eight and one quarter by ten and a half, okay? So I'm going to do that. And then I need a piece of paper that is one and one eight, okay? And this size is 10 and a half, okay? So this one right here, you have to score half of an inch and then turn the paper and then half of an inch. So you can have one eighth of an inch in the center, okay? So we are going to use this one to um, glue these two papers. Now I have the two papers cut, okay, at the measurement that I give you. And this one, you have to fold it, okay? So you have the one eighth of an inch on top, see? And we are going to cut, okay, right here, like this, okay? Leave the one eighth of an inch straight, okay? We just um, need to cut this one on the sides, see? And now we are going to use this um, hinge and we are going to glue behind, okay, the first page. And then we are going to glue on top right here, okay, in the center. We are going to glue it like this, okay. First you glue this one, okay, and as you can see, is under the line of the one eighth of an inch, okay? And I align with the papers that are glue on the sides and I try to put in the center. Can you see right here? Okay, now you're going to fold this one Okay, and leave the eight of an inch on the back. Fold this one. And you're going to glue this, but like this, okay? So when we open, we have these two papers decorated, okay? So we are going to put the paper right here, okay? And we are going to glue this one on top. Can you see? Okay. And now we have the paper like this, okay? With the eight of an inch gap up over here, okay? And you have these two papers decorated. Okay. Now we're going to make a pop-up up here before we go to the next page. And we're going to use these two papers, okay? This one is 11 and this one is six. And this piece is five and a half by six. And on this small side, okay, we are going to glue the other um, paper, okay? But just um, go on top half of an inch, okay? And before we glue, we need to um, score in half, okay? So I'm going to score a three and this little one on the six inches, I'm going to score a three as well, okay? A three. And on this big one, we are going to score at eight, okay? So now we are going to glue, okay, this one and we are going to continue. And now that I have this long piece, I'm going to fold it in half, okay? 
and also right here, okay, at eight. Now we have this piece and we fold it, okay, in half and also right here, right? So now we are going to do this, okay? We are going to um, fold this one, okay, to the side, okay, just one, okay? To the side and align with the part at the bottom, okay? Just like this, okay? Once you have it, hold it, and then you are going to open and you're going to match this one to the center okay you're going to align that and you can do this press right here and align to the center and then press on the side okay press on the side right here and on the other side okay now you're going to turn okay to the other side and you're going to do the same thing, okay? You align this part up here to the bottom, okay? And make sure you have the two parts together. And you are going to press this one, okay? And match the center. See, match the center and then press. And just press on the sides okay so you will have this shape okay like a house okay in both sides now we are going to open this and we are going to measure right here four inches okay and right here at the bottom too okay Four inches then we are going to make a line okay and the same up here four inches four inches right here and then we are going to make the line Okay, now that we have this piece right here, okay, we are going to cut this part up here, okay, this one on the top, we are going to cut from the center to this line, okay, so you can use a cutter or you can use your um, cutter machine. Okay, and I'm going to do with my cutter. See, like this. And now from the center right here to the end, we are going to do the same thing. Okay. And now we have a piece like that goes like this see okay and we are going to use um two more papers okay for the mats that we're going to put in there and these papers are six inches by eight and a half we fold and then we have half of an inch right here okay we fold it and the other piece is six by eight and we fold okay once you have these two pieces you are going to put them together right here okay we glue them right here so i'm going to use my glue now you have a piece that goes like this, okay? And we are going to put glue or tape right here, okay? And also right here, okay? As you can see, I just put that tape right here in this area, okay? 
and also right here. And I will mark up here at five and one quarter of this paper, okay? So I can glue that part in the center right here. Now I want to make a correction because when I put my paper, it was way too low. And when I opened, it was fine when this one was empty. But now this one is heavy. And when I open, this one couldn't open more and then rip. Okay, so I'm going to give you the solution, okay? Um, the pieces are going to be exactly the same. I have up here the pieces. These are the folding piece and this one, okay? When we are ready to glue, okay, we are going to cut, okay? This is like less than one eighth of an inch. Now that it has this cut, okay? It looks like this, but that it's okay, okay? Can you see the hole, okay? Now, you are going to put this edge in the first line, okay, all the way. This is the center, and you are going to open to see. You, you should see the one-eighth of an inch there. Can you see? Okay, now you can glue this one, okay? And uh, you can open and glue this part up here, okay? And then we add this piece. Then we add this piece over there, okay? And it's going to open flat, okay? So the measurement is good, but just this piece right here, okay? The, the center, because of the eight of an inch that we have in here, Okay, I didn't count on that, and it was hard for me to open. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this fabric tack, which is a stronger than tacky glue. And I'm going to put um, there, everywhere. Okay, and <clears throat> then in the other side too. It's very important that you glue this part very well, okay? Okay, now we're going to do that. We're going to put very close to the edge. Right in the center where you have the mark, okay? And you can even open and Do this okay then you are going to glue this piece right here So we are going to do this part, okay, of gluing after we put this part, okay? We need to wait until it dries before we close. Now I love how it opens all the way. Now we are going to um, need first, okay, two pages because we are going to do flaps right here that opens. And for that, I printed in this color to match this one right here. And it's two sides, okay, of the same print. And for this one, I printed on of the same, okay, this sign. And we are going to cut this one at six inches, okay? So I'm going to um, bring my cutter. <clears throat> 
and I'm going to cut this at six inches. That's okay, this part up here, you don't need to cut because that will be um, right here, okay? It will be covered. So we just... Um, cut at six inches right here and this one too at six inches okay now we are going to cut okay the the top yes this one we need to cut right here okay i almost forgot just the top and now this one is going to be right here. Just the top. Now we are going to score, okay, these two pages. And right here, this is the part that is going to be in the center. So we're, we're going to put this one right here. And we are going to score at... Five and one quarter, okay, five and one quarter, and also at five and a half, okay? We have a five and one quarter and five and a half. And now the same thing, okay? Right here, this part that is going to be in the center goes that way, and we are going to do at five and one quarter, and at five and a half okay and also right here can you see this one is cut so this part that's cut it's going to be right here and we are going to score at eight and one quarter okay and this one is the same we put this part that is cut and we are going to put at eight and one quarter. Okay. Now we are going to fold this way. Okay. So we have like this. Okay. This one is folded to the back. This one is going to be up, okay? Like this. Same here, okay? You open this one and you're going to fold this one up. And now, okay, we are going to cut this part up here. Okay? Just like this. Okay, up to the second line. Okay? And we're going to fold this one to this way. So we're going to have a pocket here, okay? And we are going to cut a little bit slanted right here, okay? On this side, okay? Just on the first half of an inch, okay? And we are going to do the same up here. Now we have uh, these two pages and we are going to glue this one first, okay? All the way here, okay? We can cut a little bit of this, okay? So it can be folded better. Okay, and we are going to glue this part up here. Okay, and now we are going to put glue or tape right here and we are going to glue it here, okay?
and this is how it's going to look see we are going to work now on this area and now we are going to add two flaps right here okay and we're going to use this one okay this one will be the flaps that close so we are going to cut i'm going to show you with the cutter like this okay just at uh, the beginning right here of this line okay we, we are not going to use this one we can save it for something else okay we're going to cut right here okay we're going to use this part and also we are going to cut this one right here okay So we can use this one as a border. Now we are going to cut this one right here at four and one quarter, okay? Four and one quarter. It's here. Okay, and we have this part up here. And right here, because we're going to use this part up here, we're going to trim the white stuff, okay? Just a little bit. And we're going to use this part up here and we are going to trim at five and one eight okay so we're going to use this okay and then right here we are going to do the same measurement okay first we trim right here this part the white one then we're going to trim up here and we have this and now right here we're going to trim at four and one quarter okay now that will go for the top then i printed these papers okay and these papers are double-sided i printed this one on one side and this one in the other one okay so we are going to cut okay the white part and then we are going to cut this white part on top too and then we are going to cut at five and one eight okay we are going to cut at five and one eight and then we are going to trim up here at eight and three quarters so it's going to be at eight and three quarters okay now we have these two pieces and we have four pieces right here and they are the same measurement okay and as you can see, two are double-sided and two are just one side, okay? And these are five and one eight by eight and three quarters, okay? All of these are the same size, okay? Four. And we are going to um, score these ones right here that is just one side, okay? These two, we are going to score, okay? at eight and one quarter and at eight and three eighths okay so you have like this okay so these two are going to be the same eight and one quarter and eight and three eighths okay and then we have these two pieces okay and look at the direction okay we are going to score at the bottom okay we are going to score at half of an inch okay and then at five eighths that means like one more eight okay half of an inch and one eighth of an inch more okay and we do the same thing right here half of an inch and one eighth of an inch more okay we are going to glue the ones that are double sided okay so we are going to glue that first and we need to fold this one 
Okay, fold it. And now we are going to glue them right here, okay? And we are going to mark right here at five and one quarter, okay? That's the center. And we are going to glue, okay, these two pieces. Okay, so we are going to glue this one right here. Okay, at the bottom of this page. See, like that. And now we're going to do the same with this one. Now we are going to uh, use this one that has just one sided and we are going to fold this one up, okay? Now I have the two pieces with tape and I'm going to glue right here. But I'm going to find the center first because I need to exactly know where to put it, right? And I measure the center and it has to be at five and one quarter, okay? Now I'm going to turn this one to the side so I can see, okay? And I'm going to see right here, okay? And align this one. This flap has to be on top and you have to put the eight of an inch under so you can just have the paper that you need to glue here. See, it's easier when you make the mark and you can see on this side, okay? Okay, now we are going to put the other one. Now we are going to put this one up. So we have that eight of an inch on this side. Okay. And we are going to close this one right here. And now we can glue this one on this flap right here, okay? We can glue them right here and right here. But before we glue them, you can round the corners if you want. I'm going to round the corners. Okay, and you can glue them right here, okay? Now it looks like this, okay? And I left one eighth of an inch because when we open, okay, we are going to put right here mats for pictures, okay? And you can open one at a time okay so or you can open both okay so for the mats i'm going to use 10 mats that measure four by six and one quarter okay so i have 10 mats here and i'm going to put five on each side okay and for that we're going to score one fourth of an inch okay right here one fourth of an inch in all of them Now you're going to fold them, okay, all of them, and we are going to glue five of them on one side and 
five of them in the other side, okay? And for that, we are going to uh, measure at the bottom, okay? Um, we are going to measure three quarters of an inch, okay? We are going to mark right here, three quarters of an inch. Just to guide, okay? Then we can erase that. And right here on the side, we're going to measure half of an inch, okay? So we're going to make two marks right here at half of an inch. Make a very soft line, okay? So we are going to guide up here, then we're going to erase this one, okay? Because uh, we are not going to put mats at the, at, at the last one. And we are going to do like this. Okay, we align up here. Then we continue gluing the other mats one on top of each other. Just make sure they are aligned on the sides, okay? You will glue five mats on each side. And now we can erase this line, okay? That's why I said that you had to do a line very softly, okay? So we have our mats done on this side and we're going to do the same thing on here, okay? And now I have the 10 mats right here, okay? And for the bottom right here, okay, for this part, we are going to make two pockets right here, okay? And I'm going to use this page, okay, right here for each pocket. So this is how I'm going to cut I'm going to cut right here this paper, okay, in the center of this is like about one eighth of an inch on top of the cards, see, one eighth of an inch on top of the cards. And now we are going to use um, scraps of papers that are like one inch, okay? And we fold it in half, okay? A half of an inch. So we are going to use this to make a gusset right here at the bottom for the pockets, okay? And this is how it's going to look. See, you open, then you open this one, and you have up here pockets, okay, where you're going to put more tags. And then you have waterfall mats right here, okay, to put lots of pictures. And we are going to close this one. 
now for that size right here i printed one of these just one side only and we're going to cut in half okay so here is my cutter let me put this one to the back and this one is eight and a half so we're going to cut at four and one quarter okay <clears throat> then we are going to cut this one right here at seven and a half okay we are going to cut at seven and a half and same with this one okay seven and a half right here then we are going to fold right here half of an inch on on each side but where the white uh, margin is okay half of an inch we are going to score half of an inch see and at the bottom We are going to um, leave right here half of an inch. This one has half of an inch. And this one we are going to mark at two and a half. Okay. So we have a point. Okay. Two and a half right here and half of an inch here. So we are going to use a cutter. Okay. And we are going to cut that part see now it looks more like for a folio right so we can have something like this to put more mats tags envelopes something okay if you don't like this one straight you can round it if you want just a little bit okay you can round it like this see and we can glue it right here okay now i'm going to close this and i'm going to glue this one right here on top of the line okay on top of the line see so you can fold very well and now we're going to do the same thing on this side and here i have two mats these are four and a quarter by six and a quarter and you are going to have those mats right there so you can see that spot and then you can put more tags okay and now for this part up here i printed these two papers okay and this one are double sided you are going to cut half of an inch at the bottom okay we are going to do that half of an inch then we are going to cut at eight and a half now okay from here we are going to cut at eight and a half Now we're going to cut it on the sides, one quarter of an inch on each side, okay? So we will have eight. One quarter of an inch. And then right here at eight. And this one measures eight by eight and a half, but we're going to score half of an inch on top. So we're going to score half of an inch right here. 
Okay, and we are going to fold that. And now this uh, folio measures eight by eight. Now we are going to cut this one that I printed double-sided, okay? And we need to cut at eight by eight, okay? So now you have eight by eight, okay? And we are going to glue this together right here, okay? We are going to glue it like this. So we have a flap and when you fold to the back, it will have a little bit of the front, okay? So, so we're going to put glue here. And we are going to fold. Okay. Now we are going to embellish the folio. Okay, and for that I'm going to use these two pages. Okay, and I'm going to cut up to here in the center of this image right here. So you just cut in the center. Okay. And same as the other one. And we're going to use this one for tags. And we are going to cut this white border too, okay? And now we are going to score at half of an inch on each side, okay? Each of these three sides. Okay, now we are going to glue this one first okay these are going to be pockets and now we are going to cut up here in the corner this one too and we are going to do the same And we will glue right here. Okay, at one eighth of an inch. Now we are going to glue right here. Now I have two pockets and we are going to put mats on top, okay? And for that, I cut these mats and we are going to make a waterfall right here. This measure four inches by six and a half and I score at half of an inch, okay? And these mats are going to be one quarter of an inch all around, okay? So I'm going to align with this part up here where the pocket ends, 
okay right here and i'm going to leave one quarter of an inch on top and the bottom right here okay and the next one you are going to put up here okay next to it very close but you need to put it straight right here on the side okay So you will have waterfall mats right here, okay, for eight pictures and this one right here too, okay. And right here in this pocket, we are going to put tags so it can hold this one and they don't, they don't open, okay, the flaps, okay. So we're going to do the same thing here, okay. We're going to put the mats and we are going to hold with these two tags now the mats are done right here see you can you can put lots of pictures here and we are going to put these two tags right here to hold the mats and we can put it on the folio right here okay 